Additional agenda items. I had a couple calls regarding elective officers and stuff like that. Anything from you guys before we move on? Second. 
All in favor? Show us take of hands. Not sure you mind it. Don't you care. Great. Sounds good. Uh, business arising from the minutes. Anything, any new business, old business? Anything you'd like to discuss there? A couple items you should explain. Uh, most of you are aware we entered into looking at MSC, which is Marine Stewardship Council or approval or whatever. Anyhow, in that, we applied for funding to the government. That is why that's an income of $2,500 there. The provincial government made a donation towards the early uh, review that we had. So that's an income. And it, you'll see at the bottom the $4,400 outlay is what it cost us, and of course the 2500 helped pay for some of that. So that's why one's an income, one's an expense. Um, also the honorariums, if you remember, we said not going days off meetings or whatever, and it was put on the floor and $100 per meeting, I think it was, but that's your honorariums. And they, that is, what, 3900 And the other one, the workers' comp, is because I guess we didn't get it done 100% the way we sh could have, I put it. Anyhow, we had to show workers' compensation coverage and pay expenses for that. So that's some of those. Uh, I don't think there's anything else unless you have any other questions. And that shouldn't read Marine Security, it's Marine Stewardship. <laughs> But it is MSC. <coughs> is there any other questions on finance? Go. 
All in favor? Fishery options for considerations and close. We'll get right into that. Um, everybody should have a copy. You guys get a copy of that, Mark? Everybody should have a copy of your mail order. Anybody got that one that came with the mail Stated here, but uh, we did. We had a, a sit down in October uh, with the FO, and, and the only real significant outcome was they would put forward some options. In other words, the field of, of options that's available for two. So this is a DFO generated paper. That fair could say. That's what you read on the one? Yes, Saul. Where, where is the echo on that? Sorry. Uh, Did you hear? Yeah. I can't hear you. But. I say, where is the uh, CFO for that? Where is the paper? I don't want to put this shit out. I don't agree with none of this one since I don't want to be anybody else. Um, we, will get, we will get to that. What is like in I guess we never really invited them. I don't know. Uh, is that right? Oh, I guess we didn't. They're not going to come up here when there's nothing on the table. Let's face it, right? I've asked them to come. Oh, she was sick. She's still in the to show too much. Be more to come. Well, I, I don't know. It's a pretty broad, broad based option. I mean, what is there outside of the bottom line? Well, I think the right need we have in Jordan is very clear that the majority of the current people that was there was not in favor of COVID. Did everyone get that impression? Unless there's a different front chair, unless you want to have another vote, they're not. There's only one thing to do. We've got to remain as competitive fishery, we've got to figure out how we're going to do it. Uh, yeah. I'd like to do all the stuff. Just the yeah. motion to yeah. the paper, because that would make it yeah. no problem at all. But <coughs> you want to see if these people want to be the same, I don't know what you want to do. But. I think you already know that the majority of the members rejected any kind of an ITQ program or people share or anything, right? But this is what they sent. Just go over it to make sure that we understand what they're sending and if we reject it, we'll record it in a minute and take it back to them. That's all you can do. So is this uh, based on what the meeting that we went to Bridgewater with the FO lender? No. We had a subsequent meeting with yeah. Faith, Lesburg, Linda, uh, October, the last of October, concerning, well, basically some of that and also the 90 legal, split. the 90 can split legal view. So that, no, that wasn't solely based on our, uh, 
director's meeting. I think we were looking for a bird. No, but we were looking for a picture of yeah. fish here. But essentially, all we, at, at the time, we went and said, okay, what are our options to look at to bring back, you know, like Normie says, the guy said, we don't want IQ or we don't want, or we said, what else can we do? And that's some of it, and they're just, I guess the bottom line was they said, you've got to make some changes. I'd like to ask a question. When Larry knew you was having in enough fish when they failed, what was the problem with that? Was that working? Or, I mean, if you take the history of our heart, little fishery, over the six we've been going, if you were able to fish at 180 pounds, you ain't going to be able very much from here to get very, very low, one way or the other. So what's the big deal? I mean, why can't we? Well, we then I thought he was doing a good job. Or he he was we, we have seen pretty darn accurate on how we've been able to, even though a bunch of you have taken quite a bit of flack for it. Uh, but there's been problems are gradually cropping up that we have no control over. No problem. Is it the problem, fishery problem? Well, or some of them, anything? some of them, or we could lay it back all on fisheries, but one of them is we uh, outlined the halo system. is no longer our control. They won't change. The other one is we have never been able to deal with the aircraft and one to the other. Um, there's also some other problems creeping in that we're not seeing or hearing because we haven't been able to catch a proven thing. It's not ideal. You know, we got to be fisheries don't want us to be uh, competitive. So they just don't care if the other stuff works or not because they'll be hoping they feel so the paddling, say, let's go history. But I'm always feeling on the history thing, and everyone's got their own right to feel they they want. But I think some of us have never had a little bit changed having a couple stickers on the fish again. Right on the first paragraph, I could jump in there. I just take a little offense to that we don't manage the fishery. I thought that we've done a good job for the amount of boats on the water, you know, keeping everybody. In line, and they guess they take no flack over because they got a committee that's you know, causing chaos in their department. Hmm. Well, I think there's only been one instant if one fellow didn't come in, it then seems to be doing it. See here today that Pete Lessie guy, I was going to ask him how we made it. system we had a problem in the second opening there was no I guess there was a misunderstanding we thought you couldn't get a number but you can get a number anytime and, um, see on the halo number and this is where I gotta jump in you the halo doesn't tell you you can go harpoon no. that gives you a number to go fishing if you violate your contract or your fishery then that's you in DFO it would be so simple and Bill said if we could enter into that system and just say, Normie ain't going, or 5605, you're not going, right? But they wouldn't do it. But that's, and they're going to lay that on us, where really that is not our problem. If someone takes a halo number and goes on his own, and he's involved <coughs> with DFO and our contracts, that looks like they're unloaded onto us, in my view. Well, and to take it another step, they're not only unloaded on us, but we get the numbers. As I say, yeah. You know, it's not just simply he went harpooning and all oh, we broke the law. Well, guess what? We get saddled with they come off us. Have come the year before, I think Wolford and Sandy had come in and you thought we were going to close it on a Wednesday. And that was on a Monday. And they wouldn't be held, Sandy and him held it. They had the hell out and fisheries come to the boat and told him if he went out, he would be charged and told in. Well, why isn't that being done? They they just not follow the I got the feeling that they don't want us to, to be competitive. They'd rather we go history because it's easy to manage. Just well, they, they changed the system. Now, I don't. I disagree with the system they went, and we fought it for two years. Uh, there must be a tradition <coughs> or they want me to. No, well, Wolford, I think Wolford well, they had here. Didn't you call Paul well, Hanson and Wolford? He wanted to know why we couldn't go because we had the license same as the rest of Paul and Hanson, and they issued a variation yeah, order. Am I right there? Yeah. Yeah. And then they called the 15 yeah. citizens. Well, Wednesday, putting the votes back in Wednesday, which was Monday. 
But they had to, they changed it back a day, right? They took a day off, yeah. and they both had to come in Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Yes, yeah. am I right? I think I'm right because Sandy had threatened them coming. They said if you leave, you, you'll be told back in. You ain't. And I think they might talk over the same thing. Did they offer? You know, so I mean, they could do it then, but now it seems like they they don't want us to.
Because we all know what George is thinking and what the cost is going to come. Well, no, I'll ask you another question. Okay, go ahead. Just right now, one at a time, you get the floor. Where you going? Yeah, these here fish that do go history, they go to our group. They take the DFO, don't give me no fish. The group gets paid fish, the ones up front. Every group that I join, in any fishing group, when they went history, the ones up front give you the fish, not the DFO. I hope you get that straight from on y'all. Oh, right, DFO right. don't give us nothing. Russell. The ones up front. Just Russell, keep standing. I'll tell you how that works, uh, being one of these guys that gives prime fish assigned to them like a management board. But you are right. It'll come to a management board or your executive. Right. And they will, you know, share the fish. DFO out. don't share them out. No. Well, they will give you your initial. They just give you, yeah. say you, yeah. you've got 80 ton, they'll give you 80 ton. Yeah. You first do whatever you're doing with them, right? That's the way every other association is. That's what we do. Well, we do what we do. What the members would say we do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's just say that you got an 18 ton to say it. You got four fish. You feel like you got. You got to stay and catch two ton, or with any bar, anybody would want to say that. No, but you say Let's just say you ain't got an 18 ton. How many of the boys and souls that you got in your group do you think's got two ton? Probably none. Not too many. But if, if you're getting caught up and, and if you were talking about a bycatch fishery or where you had no control, but when you control whether it be a 200 pounds, well, I can sail with 200 pounds. You know it and I know it, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. But they owe it the price of food. Well, you know, I know you can't afford it. They go for 200 pounds. I mean, you did as well say you put in the reason, but you ain't never going to get caught. But if I guess we, if we can go with the fleet up something like we talk, maybe maybe we can work something if they But can we afford this five day fishery? What? My question was can we afford a five day fishery? Affordable but then boys you gotta be five days. They well, they just, telling us that mm -hmm. boy can't if you call us right there and you wanna run the association or whoever runs it, if you call in and nobody's got no faith, boy, you can <laughs> come in call it five days. That'd be quite stupid. But I'm just saying that the, But I I see this stuff too, right? I think they're throwing a I just bought my license. Just bought my license. Hold on. I know you're done. I'm done. Okay. I just bought my license last year. And I'm all, I'm new to this. Okay. And you guys are all talking about history and stuff. And you just said something about going on a five day trip. And it's not really fair. And if it goes history, is that fair for me? Uh, what's your name, Lenny? Terry Sonny. Oh, Terry. Just marking down for reference. And I, I don't know. I know Larry because I signed up through like whatever. But. I don't know this gentleman or yourself. Are you guys fishermen yourself? Yeah. You, know, you, know, you guys go so fishermen yourself? Yeah. The last meeting I went to in Lockport, there was a boat there. You guys, uh, from history. I did. The rest of it, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I said I did. Okay, you guys voted for history? Very no, did no. <laughs> I didn't vote on that. Yeah. They ain't come to the vote. I don't know, I know Russell, and I know, I don't know this gentleman, but I see his high flyers in the water, he catches a lot of fish. And these guys did not agree with history. No, no, we know that. So where where is that going to put me as a guy who just bought a license? Uh, can I ask where your license was? An inactive license, or did you buy a local? Well, I bought a license out of Barrington. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. I got no idea if there's history on it or not. You know what? Uh, here's uh, <laughs> something that you can throw into the mix. <coughs> I'll make your own here, by the way, because I don't know how to people will approach this. But under our own terms of reference, you've got to have majority support whether it be history or not. So if the majority of people don't have any history, they've never been poured in. Well, I agree. Now, I am on board myself for hearing anything that I was on board for a long time. That the board itself is not allowed to vote. Is that the same case here? Well, we don't vote. We always think people vote. Okay, I'm just wondering. I think we voted it to die or something, but it never ever came to that. I think it's in the I, I don't want to see history because of the fact that I just bought the license. Yeah. Well, I can understand that. Fishing. And if I probably picked two or three that have been going 25 years and <coughs> have held it together and said, well, gee, we used to go, there wasn't too many around, and uh, you got a year, you didn't get a year, and now all of a sudden you got 70 boats and nobody's making up. You can't blame us. We can't blame for it. Oh, nothing to blame. We can't blame for it. We can't blame We can't blame for never caught one in the boat. Oh. Wait a second. I've had family members. Just, just, just never got hey, listen guys, you know what, I'd like everybody to speak, but one at a time. I'd like to hear everybody's input, 
because we're going to bring this to the floor for a vote anyway. Somewhere we need to. Yeah, but I'd like for everybody that got a point, please bring it. Jerry, you still got the floor there. Okay, I, I just want to know, I, I said I'm not sure where this is going to go. If this goes history, where do I stand? I'm done. Thank you. Right? Not only this sort of 
talk about is every other one too. Is that right? I I uh, didn't mean the one that the case thing brought up in Halifax. I had one of the one of the offices that right there in that building that day. And that's what you know that's the uh, pit photo was just setting up for the first week. They didn't know our pretty brother. But one of the fellows said, We got all the time in the world, we got the money to do it. And I know. said, Hey, how long do you want it? They want to fight, they can ten years, they can fight for ten years, we can install it for ten years and they got the money to come back with it, go ahead. Say it's not only just it, I, I don't risk to disagree with the word say. <coughs> my problem, I guess, or, or my vision is I haven't been able to come up with a plan to, to achieve it. it. You know, I've, I've gone to ICAT and, and some of those or whatever. I know the Americans have in excess amount of fish. Just this year, for instance, we sent a deputy minister, and uh, which I didn't even know, a fisheries mm -hmm. ambassador. I didn't know we had such a person. And in a couple of meetings in the summer, I met up with both of them. They went overseas for the initial, their goal was to come back with some of those fish. Well, that paper's got more fish on to it than what they come back with. As a matter of fact, they bid, one of them bailed out early because the U.S. just summed their nose. So I guess they were a big boy on the block and kicked sand in her face and goes to home. Now, I, I somehow I don't know the vision of how to get us, if I look at the numbers we have, the number of licenses, whether it's A or B, and I don't disagree, it's that we should all be harpooned in a perfect world. Most conservative, most green, uh, no destruction, all the above. But how do we get there? I don't know. I, I know every time that we go to the pot, we say we'll take away from somebody else. Well, that somebody else then is shoving back big time because you're not taking it along. Or if we go to the Americans, they're saying the same thing. And they're not even using theirs for freak's sake. Internationally, we have not, as a country, had enough gumption to stand up at an international table and say, we're going to do this. But I guess I, I've sort of thrown a question back to Gilbert, if you give me a little bit. Do you have anything that we haven't been trying or something to get us more. Right? We definitely didn't put our own self in this position. Somebody I, else did. Well, how come the government don't look like their water spoiler and give it to us? I know the answer to that, but what you need? That was moved. Thank you. Uh, how come, the, uh, as we're a family fisher and a family community of fishing, how come the government didn't give us no relief in the morning buying that train and throw it down? We just didn't have 4,500 dead, we wouldn't be sitting in this building talking about anything right now. Bottom line. How come the government doesn't buy this boat at the well and give it to us? Yeah, I know that. I know the answer In the long line, <laughs> no, but in the long line sector, if you belong, yeah, I'll get you the second. But in the long line sector, there are fishermen agree there'll be no transfers outside the group. We go, you think we've been asking for these fish? Or asking I, for American fish? That. But that's the reason. You're into this. The long line group, they've signed in and they transfer to their own, not the harpoon. Yeah, but that wouldn't be a transfer. That would be the government only. Oh, bond it out, you mean bond it out. That would be no transfer to it at all. No. Take it the government, me. like you said, all they want to do is throw something in the church and do something positive for this. Uh, a couple history. of years ago, Doug, I brought <coughs> that to the meeting and suggested maybe we would look into creating our own fund because I don't have a whole lot of faith in our government, past, present, or future, to do anything for me outside of tax money. But, um, the membership at large said, well, gee, if we just fund it and then throw it into an open pot, so there wasn't a whole lot of support. But I thought a couple, three years ago, we should have started creating a pot that we could go by this, and you're right. Clear water, I don't care if it's Wesley Hanaberry or Gussie or, 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 uh, or, anyway. or your, some of your guys. You know. uh, but anyhow, if we could go do that, I thought it may be doable that the government would say, fine, you can put it in your group. But we didn't, I, I don't know, government funds, I don't know if we would have access, maybe there is some, but I haven't heard of them. But this is only, this catch it and lose it, on our group in Canada is a Canadian thing. Okay. 
Now, internationally, uh, they're trying to deal with that, and the U.S. has had to pare theirs down. They had a very large number, but they are trying to cut that back so they cannot carry these uncaught fish. In other words, they just can't wheel and deal with them. But the number they ate come from here. I know. Come from our own room. I know they did. In our room. And I, we've told that to them every time we see them. But they got us balls. Hey, right? boy, can't we bring them to head meeting in Yarmouth the other day? Minister of Fisheries and politicians. There's all kinds of money being given them. Boy, can't we get someone to drive that a ladder? If we all seen one, sign it personally and send it to Katie and the fisheries minister. Ask the name to avoid this program and give it to the hard one coach agent so we can go fishing because of her. We've had any hard as well as it for the hour. Well, you know, we're all paid for it for our tax people to go for one of their Yes. Yes. Well, and even if you had to pony up 10 cents on the dollar or something, but in some form of, yes, help to, I don't have a problem with that. It's, it's a very, one of the well, good ideas. Well, maybe we could pay back in years or for what you, you know, we didn't go on what you see up on that. So you they need to start paying some back. If only you did, you've got to pay for it over a number of years. Because we know right now with what we have in quota and the way we're fishing it, we can always make any money. Because you can't go up today and land on Friday, everybody, and get in. We're struggling to find some solution. We've also proved one thing too is you can't buy fish and make a dollar because it's very last two or three years and I'm through with that bullshit. You won't have to make somebody else's money. Like that's no good. That's key to it. I think if I can speak to that, uh, Gilbert, it, it would already be a bought it, but you gotta use it. You can't we're folk I mean, you're right now, we're pushed into a corner with no room to maneuver. You can't roll your fish. You gotta transfer them, you can't have them, you can't. We were blind as bats when this was all done. Because they boxed us in, and I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I haven't got the answer on how we can box our way out of it, but anyway, Sterling. Thank you. Uh, I think we're this is not an easy issue to uh, solve very quickly, but a year or so ago I wrote the minister of uh, fisheries a letter talking about the international quotas and not being utilized and we talked earlier here about having a vision of what's going to happen with this uh, cut to the chase here we need to find quota for the harbor <coughs> of the fishing fleet that's a simple solution yeah. and the minister at the time is sterling talk with the people involved in the industry ICAT, come up with a, with a solution that we can get quotas from the international communities or our domestic fleet in canada and direct it towards our hard-home fleet. And I just heard here earlier that the, this is not going to work under the status quo. I think we all agree to that. And we need to get people on the water. I don't care if it's Irish mossing or rock weeding or uh, halibut or halibut or swordfish. We need to come up with this mechanism to get this more user-friendly. But what I think I am hearing today, and, I, and I'm here to just observe and listen. But I think, and I'll put this back to you, because I talked with high-ranking DFO officials, and I don't want to use their names, and, but what they're saying is, is we need to have a delegation of people who want to see this accomplished. And the vision, if you're going to have a season from the 15th of June to the end of August, put it on paper. Put it on paper that you want a mechanism put in place and you can get this from ICAT to be transferred to this domestic harpoon swordfish sort of fleet. Those are two points. And you've got to get the people in place with some some clip to see it happen. And they gave all the money to all all the above the, the auto workers and all that. So to me is that that needs to be the vision that comes out of here to get the people in place to do it. I'll just leave it with the question with, to your group. Is that uh, I come away with the impression that that's being looked at after that. How to create this mechanism to transfer this quota to this fleet? Is that going on, or they give me a line of bull, or can we push that hard? <coughs> I'd like well, to get the big dish for it. Well, uh, <laughs> listen, you know, you're in right line with what we're trying to do, but every cornerstone is blocked. Every time we get something lined up, they come up with a political corrupt 
bullshit that goes on in this region and I hope that who you're referring to. Uh, every time we commit to it, here's the answer that comes out of our region. It's a 90-10 split that's 4% more than you deserve because the years are 86 to 93. There's no transfer from the other fleet to us. We can't go to the American Fly Fish because we can't even be part of the negotiations. So what we've been trying, with all this stuff, and I want to get into it after we go through the DFO options, we are trying to get a review of the 90-10 split. That's what we're asking for. But, but, I, but I do want to get into that now. I want to go through, I want to stop until we do our options. But a little bit on the ICAT part, Sterling. I don't know what reference they were making about transfers. Uh, Patty sort of touched. There's been some avenue they talked about they would open the door for a charter. Well, guess what? The lo and behold, the charters, the only agreement that would benefit would be the longliners because we could not do charter fishing of foreign fish in Canadian waters because of St. Pierre Michelin. If you're aware, St. Pierre Michelin, of course, has the big quotas and everything else, and actually they can't catch it if they want to come to Canadian waters to catch it. So they open the door for us to do charters. For the U.S., for swordfish, means they open the door for them. That's one big stumbling block there. Also, there's Congress has problems with us chartering fish out of there. On the second one, they will not do the just systematically thumb the nose at the highest level, I would think, the Deputy Minister of Fisheries setting up the table. Uh, thumb the nose at him and said no. Now, <coughs> if there's, I don't know how much higher than you get than those two that went last year in the hold. I participated in, I think, three meetings through the year, and that was the subject of the brains of science and everybody else, from PEI to Halifax we were in meetings is to try and get those fish. If I just interject one last time, my understanding is, is that this is being carried on at senior levels now. It is always ongoing. So, yeah, I'll just leave you with a question. Is that something that, to me, there sounds like an opportunity there if you can manage to get some results? Well, I guess I would have said five years ago, if you sat here, these guys probably remember me saying, there's a good chance we're going to get some fish out of the Americans. We did come back with 50 tons one year, which, hey, we opened the door. Well, guess what? It's been one hell of a struggle to even hang on to that, period. Every time they come up with a piece of paper, it's written out. But, so that gives you some indication, yes, they're negotiating. Do I think it's going to bear fruit? We're not. I'll see it. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. But we're not negotiating. No. It's, we, we don't get to be part, Germany, of any negotiations. In our region, I'm going to say it up front, and I hope you're all sitting back there. They're corrupt as can be. That's why you have to get, in order to get anything, you got to go politically, and you got to go to the mission. It's an awful thing that you can't stop at any level of government, not even his assistant, even when Loyal Hearn, I met him a couple of times, and we went over this swordfish issue, and every time it filtered back to the region, and so that's sort of ongoing. Yes. But anyway, well, let's get back to these options because I like to, there's another option after this, and we'll hear them all before you guys choose whatever you want to do. Uh, anything else in IT twos, or you want to move into anything else on this page? Well, Sorry, what, I'm still not going to question the action. What do you think of uh, an agency sending you a paper with no getting or no nothing? Like this, your options, there they are. Who'd they come from? No, I know who they come from, but don't you think that a facsimile or a letter hid? Uh, I'm, I'm surprised it's not an honor, but I mean, <laughs> I, I would, again, I would be just, uh, I would send back my options. And you want to, and let me tell you this, sir, while you're here. We met as a group, and make no mistake, believe it or not, we're always working for to get something out of the track. And all I asked him was to show me a copy of the 9010 split. Show me where the minister, minister of the day signed off. And we're out of here. We're coming back and telling you guys a review is impossible. Well, he said, I got it here, but you're not privy to see it. 
Well, I said, you could save us a lot of hard work and a lot of angry members. We ain't going to like what i got to go back and tell them. He said, well, you're not seeing it. Well, I said, it would end the day. I could go back and say, we have to go something else. Nope. Well, I said, I'll get my lawyer. He said, go ahead. <coughs> we got a little back here after two months of waiting. Well, after further investigation, it wasn't solved out. So how can, how can these people be accountable? You can't deal with them. It's, as far as going and talking to our region, it's a waste of time. <coughs> That's my honest opinion. And you're right. There should be a delegation to go see the minister every day, whether it be Gail, Shea, whoever it is. Nope, Only the G's you could get somebody in that's being for a period of time that you could get to know because they're coming and going worse than we are. They had a meeting in Ireland with a lot of money to come here. Yeah. In the budget. From where and what? From the federal budget. Absolutely nothing. They, everybody got their arms up, but they're not just falling. They were not going to get it. Well, you ain't going to drop it in the going. You put your hand in, you try to end that evening. But at least we could. I don't know. It's just a suggestion for me. But it makes good sense to me. Here they are going to help all these people in Canada and everywhere. Well, we need help right now. Because we ain't got no summer job. Price of office is low. There's boat payment and all kinds of expenses. And the money's not there. So, <coughs> What about a time to go after them? Someone drives rolling or you folks get together and drive up a real good life. What, what we talked about the end and what we're talking about. Our history was stolen from us to start with. And now we, the reason fashion isn't because there's no program, it isn't because we're killing turtles and birds. It's because we probably one of the most cleanest fisheries you'll ever get in the world. And we need money and we need help. And Clearwater's well, got this 300 days of band. Not help us out. Good. If they're going to help people in communities, they hey, would just spread it out any better than that. If you give everybody a copy, you sign it personally and mail it personally. Two copies, one to Getty and one to her and some specimens. Or to but that's not a big, big lot to do to try to get results. Yeah, but the, we can wheel get to Greece. Hold on now. I'm just holding my door. Yeah, you know, excuse right me. Uh, Russell, just one second. You're gonna I say. Something in that line should be done, but not sent, but taken. I'm meeting with the minister. Okay. It's easier to talk to the people because if this goes before, but if this, if this, if you, all the letters you want, if it goes to their advisors first, they ain't getting to see that. And half the time these letters are signed, their face not signed in the letters. That's less Burke stuff. They ain't gonna meet with all of us. No, they but I said. to give our to one person. A delegation. They get a meeting, they no, but your executive can do it for you. That's what I mean. Russell. Russell. Well, it doesn't matter if he's called Tasty Teachers that back. What are they gonna do for you? And what are they gonna do for you? Set back to your kid. Now, your kid, that good many members was in his office last summer, he laughed at it. Now, that's a goddamn good one, too, isn't it? You know what I mean? If you're going to get anybody, you got to write them. I said, you got to write them. you got to call the minister. That's what I you said. You need a meeting with the minister. You can't go through jail, can you? No. You can't and, and in her boat was in Yarmouth the other day when they all the money. Did anybody get invited to that meeting? The heads of associations? Yeah, yeah but did any, any heads of associations or anything? Nobody I know of in Eastern Nova Scotia. So long as the kids are not coffers. Oh, <laughs> got the cop. <laughs> you show me your kid corrupt. I should have voted Tory. I should have voted Tory. <laughs> if, if you want, you know, if you're talking in some general terms, and I, there's nothing wrong, like I said, with, with, I think there was two things in there you were talking. Like now you said, it's, it's Clearwater does have, and they're not the only one. There's, there's more than that. There's some new land license as well. It was. Normie bought all that. But anyhow, got paid for. We know I have <laughs> But anyhow, if if we explore the idea of again maybe purchasing a license, is that what I've been hearing, or or getting government funding to help us, or if this that's one part of it, and I guess we're hearing that the other part is we want to. A review of the split? Because yeah. just, just I heard two different things that normally the same. Yeah, I must have heard you wrong because I didn't hear you say you want to buy a Clearwater license. Well, no, I want to see the government. The yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Transfer to a association. Put your fees out, whatever you got to, and pay so much back. <coughs> or a grandchild can be paying on it, but at least there'll be something there. Yeah, that's 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 because somebody goes fishing. 
But you want access to the quota norm, is what you're saying? Yes, that's what we're going to have. Well, that, we haven't gotten those. So that's I'm, our biggest problem. So I was pretty much right. Well, I didn't. I didn't see something they. No buying license. What? I, I never see buying license. Get the government. We ain't got the well, money to buy it. We yeah, we're talking <coughs> apples and oranges. Okay. What do you mean? I'm talking sort of things. I don't want you to talk. <laughs> I said buy, and I didn't. Like, remember, I said if we use the. They get a lot more interest. If Normie goes to the government and says, I want a million dollars, and they say, well, what's, what are you doing for it? And Normie says, but I'm destitute. And they say, screw you. But if Normie goes to the government and says, you know, if you give us a million dollars, we'll chuck $100,000 in the pot and make this a business plan that will work, you get through the door. And usually you get your funding. If any of you have ever done war works or anything else, it, Make a small contribution, in kind, and a, a large group or whatever. You use it. Now, I'm not saying your mortgage is firm here, but I'm just saying usually that gets you a little more interest. No, well, I say, agree with what you're saying. Okay. I haven't got no problem with it. So that's if you don't get something for nothing. <laughs> right. I mean, I understand that. You don't okay. want nothing. <laughs> you don't, don't want, want nothing. nothing. We just want to change the coach over. Right. Now. But I hear what you're saying. <laughs> well, as everybody else well, there's a piece of paper and tell me that to all the people in this room is never going to get to go to Georgia to know these people. Wilford had his hand. Wilford. We've been talking to outside the town about nobody wants to have a drink. Just that you're aware that you're not, it's no good leasing. 
Because you lease it this year, somebody else is going to own it next year. What you're looking to do is have an avenue to go in and buy this, and hopefully you're right. Maybe it is a good plan because you put a lot more people on the water. You generate uh, the income from it. Well, we feed fuel or not feed fire. Oh, darn. <laughs> Some of the other stuff that we could deal with. Derek. I but in most of those deals it's it fair to say you had to come up with something yourself or was that it was a loan to pay back it was, oh yeah, it was a loan to pay back okay but sell it was, it was cheaper to go that way than go through the bank or whatever else it's just that that's all i don't have problem with anything um what is the icac saying for this year's canadian allocation for the upcoming one same. Same as is Did he? Yeah, well, so it's just, just trying to address the fact of buying Clearwater's quota, because remember, Clearwater's quota is only percentage of the yeah. Yes. Of and, 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 and always so will fluctuate with those percentages, but the, of the day, I guess it's around 300,000. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to Christine. I even debated the approach of Christine last year, but I didn't because what were we going to offer? No. But some of this, I think, is, is a lot more doable than some of the other things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back to Wilfred there. Just to yeah. We're just going to keep this open, Wilfred. Yeah, and come back to it. I think we should go for the rebuild on the. We didn't have a split, but we're going to rebuild the 90 thing.